Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I thought I'd get a quick video out here and kind of update y'all since, you know, I ain't been uh, doing the video, the video vlog the last few weeks. I just, I've just i been at home for the holidays and uh, my parents have uh, dial-up internet here, so it really makes it impossible for me to upload these videos. I usually have to try to take the computer and go somewhere with Wi-Fi or somewhere, find somewhere to upload it, and that can be really, really difficult. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully y'all y'all got by <laughs> without them and all everything. But uh, just want to get a quick one out to you about uh, yesterday's game and kind of where we go from here, because things are probably going to get pretty interesting uh, here in the next couple of weeks and see what happens. Um, first, the game yesterday, uh, bad loss, <laughs> about the same exact score as when we played them three weeks ago. Um, it was really surprising. I thought we would have played better uh, in John Fox's last game, but we we didn't. Um, just didn't play a, a very good all-around game at all. Um, I think defensively we got shredded all day by the passing game by uh, Matt Ryan. <clears throat> that's a place that's going to have to be shored up because it can't allow those kind of passing yards and be successful, especially in this new league, uh, the way a lot of teams are going to uh, a dominant passing game. We've got to get that fixed. Uh, running game spit and sputtered all day. It wasn't anything like it had been. Um, you know, Mike Goodson, two fumbles. Where did that come from? He hasn't done anything like that lately. He's been really good all season. I don't know what's going on with him. And Jimmy Clausen just looked horrible. Um, some of those throws he made, just, I, I don't know. Uh, that one to David Geddes that he just missed. You can't miss a throw like that. I don't know how. But overall, a good game by our wide receivers, our, our young wide receivers. Uh, David Geddes, Brandon LaFell, uh, both had nice runs on end arounds and had some good catches too. I um, think that that's really promising. Looking to next season, whether we have Steve Smith or not, you know, we'll see. Um, we'd like to have seen him use Armani Edwards a little bit more than they did. They had him out there, but just didn't utilize him very much. Um, David Clowney, wow, I, I think he's got some kind of phobia of the goal line because he just falls down with a clear shot to the end zone. Um, that was uh, pretty interesting. Um, I haven't seen that happen in a while. But um, that's the kind of season it's been, I guess, and it really sums it up, you know. Um, but uh, just, just wanted to get that little quick review out there and apologize for not getting y'all vids the last couple of weeks uh, since the Steelers game, um, but now we move forward, uh, no John Fox anymore, uh, we've got to find a new coach, and uh, you know, I, I really like Jim Harbaugh, that's, I think that's a guy that we should target, but early indications are that we're not even looking at him, um, heard that from several, from several news outlets, uh, saying that Jim Harbaugh will not be a target by Carolina. Looks like he's going to be either going to possibly San Francisco or maybe his alma mater, Michigan, uh, the Wolverines. Um, but, you know, I, I think he's a guy that's got a pedigree. And he's, he's got just, he has a little bit of coaching experience, but what he did with Stanford in the last couple of years is just amazing, really. Uh, turned him from 1 to 11 to 11 and 1 as fast as he did. And, uh, but we just have to look at these assistant coaches that we're apparently looking at. I heard someone say that uh, we already have an interview lined up with uh, uh, San Diego Chargers defensive coordinator. Uh, now his name is escaping me. I was just talking about it five minutes ago. Um, but uh, I think he's a candidate probably. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll look at Russ Grimm, uh, Brian Schottenheimer, uh, and I've even heard you know Bob Ryan's name thrown out there, the defensive coordinator for Cleveland, which none of these names really excite me too much, which, I mean, if you know the MO of this organization, that's really what, what it's all about. There's, there's not going to be an exciting hire like a Bill Cowher or a John Gruden. It's going to be a guy that, like John Fox was when we hired him in 2002, it's going to be a guy that's you know under the radar that not a lot of people probably know too much about. But they'll do their homework on it, and uh, Marty Herney and Danny Morrison will be handling the, this hiring uh, with uh, Jerry Richardson probably stepping in at the very end and kind of giving the okay on who, who the hire is. 
And I did read, too, that uh, Jerry Richardson is supposed to be addressing the media uh, in the next day or two, possibly. And uh, it'll be his first public address since they hired John Fox in 2002, which is really, really hard to believe. Um, but that's kind of where we're at. We'll see this move quickly. We should have a new coach within three weeks or less, um, just kind of depending on who we're looking at. Because if we're looking at a coordinator who is in the playoffs right now, we'll probably have to wait uh, until they're finished or eliminated before we can interview them. Um, but that's where we're at. Um, rookies, or not rookies, uh, underclassmen for college football that have until January 15th to declare for the draft. That's when we'll see if we'll have Andrew Luck available. I really hope we do because the guy is a monster. Um, he's really made a believer out of me here recently. And uh, you know, Jimmy Clausen, he's had some flashes at times, but you know his audition the last few weeks has not been good. Um, so we shall see. Um, uh, if you get a chance, be sure to try to watch Andrew Luck tonight. He's playing in the Orange Bowl against uh, Virginia Tech. Uh, that'll be at 8.30 tonight on ESPN uh, in the Orange Bowl. So um, that's all i got for now. i got to get out of here. Um, I'll be back up at my uh, apartment on Thursday. And at that point, I'll try to get you all a little vid out, a little more detailed vid about where we're going from here this offseason and all that. So we'll talk to you later. Go Panthers.